Um, roll, roll world, that's hard to say. Roll world. What's up guys, so um, this is gonna be a quick video and I'm hoping this sounds all right because there's a lot of mowing going on, but, um, but I wanted to, to bring out my, the most mobile kit that I could think of. So I've got my DJI Spark, which is the smallest drone I have. Um, my monitor right here is my iPhone. It's on me all the time. I'm recording this video on the RX Zero and I'm using a lapel mic. So um, I'm anxious to see what this video is gonna end up looking like. But this isn't about my gear um, today. Um, I promised you that I'd take the DJI Spark up in the air on a day that was less windy. Um, the sun's out today. It is kind of windy. My hair's probably flopping around. But it's not nearly as windy as it was the other day. Um, and uh, so, yeah, I'm anxious to see what happens today. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to, I'm going to show you my workflow on the cell phone. Um, I'm not going to take it into the desktop computer and uh, take it into auto panel or anything like that. We're going to take the um, DJI Spark up in the air. We're going to take a panorama using sphere mode. Then we're going to bring it back down, import the images into, we're, we're going to import the images onto the phone convert it to an echo rectangular using the software on the DJI Go 4 app. I'm going to do start to finish my workflow in creating a tiny planet um, using just my cell phone. And I'm going to do it in two different apps. I'm going to do one in Roll World, which is an app I use a lot. Um, and I'm also going to do it in an app called Theta Plus. Um, Theta Plus is an application that I got with my Ricoh Theta S back in the day. Um, and it's still the best tiny planet application on my phone. Roll World has um, some pretty cool options. Um, has a really cool animation feature where you can go from um, a regular rectangular picture to a tiny planet. Um, so it's got some cool features, but yeah. Let's take some pictures, guys. So my settings on my DJI Spark, um, I'm gonna have it just set to JPEG because I'm doing it on the phone. There's no need for me to take a raw image. Um, I mean, it might be a good rule of thumb to take raw and JPEG all the time, just so if something, if some magic happens, you can make a better image in post. Um, but for this video, um, I haven't spent a lot of time um, location scouting and finding the perfect place to do a panorama. Um, I just have a nice sunny day and found um, a nice little apartment complex that I could make a video in. Um, so yeah guys, we're gonna see how this rolls. And as you can tell, the screen's really washed out. All right, so auto, shutter's at a thousand. So we're gonna go back to manual. We're gonna make the shutter a thousand. Okay, so we've got a locked shutter and we've taken all the information off of the auto. All right, we're gonna switch it to photo mode. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna select pano and hit okay. We're gonna switch it to sphere mode. All right, then we're gonna to touch the main screen so we know we're in sphere mode. We got 14 GPS. I think we're good to go, guys. Let's do it. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. All right, guys. So it seems to be doing a little bit better today. So we're gonna pull it up. Should have worn my sunglasses today. Let's 
Still got 14 GPS. Looking good, guys. It's a nice clear day, so we don't have a lot of crazy clouds to deal with. Although the puffy clouds are my favorite. So, 26 meters up in the sky. I think that's, that's definitely high enough. So let's do a pano. So I think that'll be pretty cool. So let's do a pano from there. And this is gonna be our last pano. Um, I wanna bring the bird down. Yeah, I think this one's gonna be pretty cool, guys. That intersection's pretty neat. I like the, the yellow striped um, speed bump and a lot of cool stuff going on there. Um, and if you guys are concerned about my safety, I'm out here in the middle of a field um, in the corner of the complex. I'm not in the middle of the complex. Um, so if anything goes horribly wrong, I can just point it towards the forest and take it down. Um, nobody's out. I'm in a, you know, it's like 11 o'clock. Um, not too many people are out. We got some landscapers, but that's about it. Um, pretty minimal what's going on here. Um, something else that a landscaping truck just came in. Um, so that might be a cause of some weird ghosting because it's going to be in several shots. Um, but it might not be. It might have been in that one shot. Um, but these kind of shots aren't going to be very good for um, like a very heavily trafficked area where you've got a lot of people walking around or you've got a lot of cars moving around. You kind of want your subject to be still. Um, just because this panorama is being built by 46 different images. So if you've got the same person in six shots walking down the street, um, then it's gonna be a little confusing for people. So, all right, we're gonna bring her back. So now that we're in, um, we're back in my car, um, I wanna give kind of a service announcement. Um, I like to do all of my editing, all of my, um, downloading once I'm on the ground. Um, I don't like the idea of, for one, me multitasking while I'm supposed to be paying attention to my drone that's in the sky and also my drone to multitask while it's trying to stay in its position and stay connected to me. So we're on the ground, we're in the car, we're gonna hit the play button. Um, sphere. So I'm going to click on this one and it's going to stitch the pano images. All right, guys, guys, see what a good idea it was to put that street in the middle. All right, so we're gonna click the download button, export it to my local drive. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, um, we've got it in the Theta Plus app, and I'm going to click on Little Planet mode, and I'm gonna zoom in the way to about here um, and I was gonna rotate it but I think this is a pretty good rotation right there guys so we're gonna hit the next button um, and I'm not gonna do any post editing in this app so we're just gonna save it to my camera roll 
Okay guys, so we're here in Roll World. I'm gonna add from a photo. I'm gonna go to Moments. I'm gonna grab the photo. Um, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna make it as big as I can. Okay, and already it's done a pretty good job, but something I don't like is that it tries to auto fix the edge and then I think I like that best that that orientation um, yeah I think we're good there so we're gonna hit the play button we're not gonna crop it we're just gonna export it and I want you to notice here guys that you can save a 4000 by 4000 image I'm gonna save it right to my camera roll Okay guys, so now we're here in Snapseed. Um, it's kind of like Photoshop for your cell phone. We're going to go into Tools. We're going to hit Tune Image. Um, I like to play with all of these different features in Tools. Um, but now we're going to go to HDR Scape. And uh, already we're going to keep it in, on People. Um, we're going to change the filter strength a little bit. We're going to change the saturation. Um, Basically what you do in this tool is you drag it up and down to grab your different tools and then you drag left and right to adjust them. So now we're going to go into drama. going to add some, uh, bump up the satur saturation a little bit. Then we're going to hit the filter strength. We're going to bring the filter down a little bit. But what it does is it gives it a nice um, strongness to it. Then we're going to come in here to the healing tool and we're going to heal this corner. Um, and it, it takes a couple tries to get it right, but oh, we're gonna try it one more time. We're gonna zoom in. Um, we're gonna zoom in and just touch it, touch that little seam. So we fix the seam on that side, um, and uh, yeah, so we got a nice seam. Then we're gonna go to tune image, and in tuning images, you can change the warmth. I like to adjust the warmth a little bit. A lot of my images end up really blue, um, but if you add, if you bump up the warmth a little bit, then those brown roofs will look nice. Bump up the shadows, change the ambiance a little bit. Um, yeah, that's looking great, guys. Um, we're gonna zoom in. Yep, check everything. So then we're gonna export it. Okay, guys. So that was my workflow. That was me flying the DJI Spark. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, have a wonderful day.